how to connect Canva website to hosting your domain. So hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, let's talk about how we will be able to publish a website that we have created in Canva over here as you can see and publish it to a domain that we have purchased in Hostinger. Now, in Canva, after creating your design, after being satisfied with how it worked, what you're going to do next is to publish the website that you have actually created. To publish it, you can simply click on the publish button over here on the top right. And you will see over here on the right side, we can see our instructions when it comes to website URL. Right now, we're simply utilizing a subdomain where you could see Canva is attached to our URL. So let me actually change the name over here. So Canva Postinger. There we go. So you click on publish website. Uh, it should appear here. So if you click on modify here, you are actually able to modify your subdomain. And then you can name it however we want. So I'll put it Canva Hostinger. But since we already purchased or we have a Hostinger domain over here, we don't need to modify this anymore because this is just a subdomain attached to Canva. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on modify again and see here that there's an additional option which is get a new domain. Selecting this will allow us to, as you can see, choose between two options. The first option is to bring your own domain. So this is for when you have purchased a domain outside of Canva, in our case, Hostinger. So this is what we're going to select. If you haven't purchased anything or any domain yet and you want to use a domain, you can simply buy a new domain over here, which you will be purchasing from Canva themselves. So after that, click on continue. And now over here, simply enter the domain name that you have. So for me, I have this domain. So I'm going to copy this one and simply paste it under this. Click on continue. And it's going to see, as you can see, connect domain manually. So we will need to log into our domain provider and update the DNS record. So let's click on review step. So these are the steps that we would need to do. So add a new record, which is this one over here. So we're going to go to our domain over here. So we have our domains. So simply click on manage over here. And over here, click on our na DNS name servers. So this is our DNS record. So this is what we're going to add over here. To ensure that you have or you won't have any issues, I would recommend that you reset this. There we go. To ensure that uh, if ever you did try to connect this name server or this domain before to another website, uh, resetting it will ensure us that we won't have any conflicts or issues later on. So over here, so name host, it's going to be act. It's currently at, then points. So we're going to copy this one and paste it there and simply add the record, as you can see here. So this is the only information that was added to us or instructed to us, uh, name and host and value points. So click on confirm. And that should be added as you can see. Now click on record added and now there will be another instruction here, add a new record. Then we're going to add this now under the same header. As you can see, add a new record and copy and paste this value. So for the name, I'm going to paste that. And over here for the value it points to, we're going to paste this as well. So this one conflicts with another record. So if we view here, now if it's not working with you guys, I think we could skip that for now. And since this is a required default DNS record for our domain, uh, I skipped that part for now and we went to the add txt record to verify domain ownership. So simply do the same thing, copy the name. So over here in the type, you're going to change to txt over here. And you're going to put the name and then the new link or value that was provided to us or instructed to us. So after that, uh, we now have this. We're now done with our DNS over here. So now as you can see, we have successfully finished this. So if you try this now, if you publish it. Okay, so as you can see here, we're having issues with our URL. So it means that we did a mistake with the DNS. So I went to the settings of our 
Canva domain over here, and we can see the issues that we're having. So it's expecting these values, but the current values are not the same. So what I would do, or what we should do, is we should delete the conflicts. So since one, this one is conflicting, we're going to delete that. And earlier, we also had the www that. So we're going to add that again. I deleted the old one. So we're going to do this. And we're going to change the value. So add to record. There we go. So we're simply going to add the record here. So if we try and refresh this now, let's see what would happen. As you can see, it's now successfully connected. Uh, no longer issues. If we try to refresh this, or if we try to access our domain over here, hopefully we should be able to access properly. So if it's still not working, so we're going to check out any other issues that could possibly uh, cause some um, issues here. So we're going to go back here, domains, domain portfolio, and let's see what would happen. So currently it's in active or active right now. Okay, so what we actually need to do next after we did all of that process, after ensuring that all of this are connected and all of this are done and fixed, we're going to go to our publish website once again over here. You're going to unpublish your website for now, unpublish this. And after that, you're actually going to click here. So this is the default thing that we saw earlier. You're actually going to select this and you will be able to then see the URL of the domain that you are using in our hosting here and simply click on Republish website over here which will republish our Canva website into that hosting your domain. That's not going to be instant as you can see here. It will be live soon. So if you check this right now, it might not work uh, as early as possible, but it is going to be processed. So give it a few uh, minutes or a few hours and it will be available on your domain that you have used. Okay, so let's give you a quick recap since our video is a bit all over the place. So first things first that you're going to need to do is to, of course, finalize and finish your website, just like what we have here. And when you're publishing it, click on publish over here. And you're going to select our modify URL over here so, and simply click on get a new URL. Select your bring your own domain here. Click on continue. Enter your domain name that you have purchased outside or in Hostinger, of course, since that is our topic. Place it here. Click on continue. And over here, we will now simply review the steps. Go to your Hostinger over here. Go to our manage for our domain go to our dns server reset your dns record over here just like this so that everything is gone and fresh copy and paste all of these instructions over here all of these records and what you're going to do if you're having some conflicts over here especially with the ww is that you delete the old versions and utilize the new ones that are going to be provided to you that way, the DNS servers would be updated and your website will be able to access Canva. So that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.